All right, let's get the cell phone out of my pocket. Oh yeah, it looks like it helped. I can't wait to get a mount. I'm gonna have to mount it right here. Can't tell if you can see <laughs> with the uh, mirror mount. And uh, also, if I get a, uh, wanna get a windscreen, but uh, that would help right now too, keep the wind off me. But uh, it, they also mount with the mirror. My zipper's messed up on that one pocket. That's why I always wonder if I'm losing something. There we are. Trying to keep my handlebars straight where I can see if somebody's coming up behind me. All righty. Notice that little mini bike on this road right here might look familiar. It wouldn't climb up it like this one does. It's all CVT. If I could find, and I'm pretty sure you can put a CVT on that little motor. And if you could, I probably wouldn't have to add any horsepower to it. That CVT would help it in every aspect that I would need more power for and uh, give it enough. That little thing does okay once it gets going. It's the taking off part, like if you have to take off uphill. Wish they made a smaller one. The only one I can think of is one like I'm gonna end up putting on the big bike. You gotta slow down right here because sometimes there's rocks and stuff there. Motorcycles don't do good with uh, gravel and stuff. They still got the gravel from where they used to salt the roads in the winter. They're not used to, they, they do it every year. <clears throat> yeah, this thing, it cruises up and down these little hills pretty good once it gets going. I held 30 up this one easy. Still technically going uphill. Yeah, little mini would have been down to, uh, well, probably about what this was just then. I think it was at 24. So it gets steep up at the top of that. It's even worse up this one because it's a constant uh, steepness going up the other way. But it's nice to be able to uh, step out my garage and take off and ride my bike all the way out here instead of having to transport it. I want to definitely see what this 50cc can do with upgrades. I hear some stories where they do just fine. Like right now, I'm going uphill and I'm doing about 32. <coughs> That's if this uh, speedo is accurate. Right in the middle is uh, 30. Hopefully you can see it good. This is where I filmed a couple of videos. I'd park right here and uh, ride a couple laps around the uh, 
parking lot here. Yeah, I'm liking this thing though. Just, just a little more oomph is all it needs. It really don't need to be super powerful. I'm wondering what the carb exhaust and yeah, when you do the carb, you'll get a, a lot of these carbs you can buy that have upgraded lines already in them, which is what I'm thinking about doing. Have the uh, cone filter on them so you bypass the uh, restrictive breather on this thing. I actually meant to go the other way, but. We'll pull up here, turn around, then go back. doing 32-ish, 33-ish, somewhere in there. This thing uh, gets out pretty good. That's 460 right in front of us. It's the highway that connects us from uh, Bluefield to Princeton to Tazewell. River Mountain there. It's actually behind 460. 460 is way up there. Hoping you can see a car heading up it, but uh, fairly way, good ways up. right at this 35 mile an hour sign. Trying to mark those so uh, we can reference them later on, hopefully. Not quite 30 at the peak, about 28. Once we soup this up a little more, we can see how much better it does. Yeah, if you just like to, you know, leisurely cruise around, especially if you live somewhere where the streets are flat and you got a more of a grid going on in your city or town, these are great. <coughs> like I say, around here, everything's got to swerve around hills and stuff. It's not much of a grid going on. But, once I get this thing uh, a little peppier, maybe I can go up some of these hills and give you a little more scenery. try to go up this hill. Came out here yesterday to scope it out how well this thing, oh, I thought it was closer. I need to look for that fence. Cute little picket fence. It may not go up this hill as good. We're fixing this hill. We're right at 20 now, but it's probably gonna start decreasing. Well, it's steeper here. Uh, it's holding 20. About 19, I guess. But that's not too bad for a 50. Yeah, I'm not against fast bikes, but uh, sometimes it's nice to just slow down and take it in. Somebody dumped their trash bag out.
lot of times I take you up that way. I'm waiting on the silver, oh that's a Ford. I don't know why I thought it was silver auto. I'm getting older, probably need some glasses. going up this hill. On oh, the little one, by the time I get to the top, I'd be down to about 24. Maybe 23. I'm not sure. I can't remember for sure. It doesn't look like much, but it's fairly steep. Not too bad right here, but just about that tank right there. It, picks up. I don't know if it shows up on video that way. I was doing over 25 there, so it does better up the hill than uh, the, mini, the little mini. It's just them big hills that don't lie. I had a trampoline set up and they had some little basketball goal hung up in there. So you bounce around and dunk it. Yeah, my big worry is getting back over that steep part of that hill I was showing you. Where I was talking about where it looked like the road disappeared. Well, that's really steep. Hoping my momentum will get me up over it. If not, I might have to walk it up some of it. a little bit later. Yeah, I think most of my problem is when I filmed last time and this time, and yesterday, of course, I wasn't filming, uh, my jacket poofs out, and that's that blocks these mirrors a lot. So I went one day without a jacket, and uh, it wasn't as bad. But I do have a solution that uh, will kick them out a little further. And uh, I should show you that in a, about a week. Dag going. I did not know there was a Dollar General there already. Good Lord. They pop up everywhere. That is something. I even went down through here yesterday and didn't notice it. I know it hadn't been there yesterday. Yeah, so, something right around here smells like it's been burning. Somebody might be burning trash up there on the hill somewhere or something. I don't know. I definitely smell it. Not supposed to be burning trash in town. And I think we're out of it. I don't smell it no more. Let's see. Uh, when I get to the top of this hill, I'm normally doing 24 at the lowest on the little mini, and I'm still holding 30, 31-ish. Yeah, this thing holds better than 30 uh, at the top. Yeah, once I, uh, I want to break it in first, but once we get it broke in. Which we're up at 83 now. I know this thing's probably going by kilometers, but I want to change the oil at 200. 
even though it won't be 200 actual miles it should be good and broke in by then but then we can start doing the modifications there's a uh, one of them that's free actually two i'm gonna turn right here well i'm gonna pull over right here cars are coming down my neck and i was doing the speed limit well i guess i can turn here I yeah Should have stayed on that main road. That ain't it. No. Next road. Yep, yeah, this is the road. I always forget it's the church. I'm going to 